I was sharing with someone about the group program that we had and, and they said to me, Florian, but you know, why should I grow? And I said, oh, this is an interesting question. And I think some of you maybe have this question and you ask yourself, well, everybody talks about growth and why is growth important and why should we grow? And I think what this question says, it says about a person is that they don't have a goal, right? So if you don't see why you should grow, you're kind of in, in your comfort zone, you're comfortable and you don't have a goal. So of course, we don't just grow for the sake of growing. You know, and no one grows without a goal. So if you don't have anything that you're frustrated with or anything that you want that you don't have today, then I understand that you might not see a reason for growing. But whenever we step out of our comfort zone and we start growing, there is something. We say that you're either pulled by ple pleasure or by your dream or you're pushed by a discontent. So you're either unhappy with the area of your life, for example, your body weight or your financial situation, and you're unhappy with that, and you had enough and you say, I'm sick and tired of this, I really want to change this area of my life, and then you step into the growth zone and you start growing, or you say, I, I'm, I'm okay here, but it is this big goal that I want to achieve, so going after that goal, I understand that I need to grow. So. If you either have a discontent, a pain that you want to remove, right? We either run away from pain or we run towards pleasure, right? If you have one of these, either pain in some areas of your life that you want to remove or either pleasure that you want to have in other areas of your life, that's the moment when we start to grow. But the challenge is that people, you know, they expect, I mean, why do I need to grow right now? Well, you know, when the opportunity comes, it's too late to prepare. So if you just wait for the pain to be big enough for you to, to move forward or just you wait for, you know, for the best opportunity to come and you don't grow, then when that opportunity comes, you're not ready. It's like, you know, uh, expecting to get car, a car like a gift, but not having a driving license. And you say, oh, I will take my driving license when I will have the car. But I would say that, if, if one of the conditions for you to get the car is to have a driving license, I would say you should take the driving license right now, and then when you have you know, the opportunity to drive someone's car, you're prepared, right? So I think this is one of the challenges when, when someone asks themselves, or if you ask yourself that, why should I grow, what, why everybody talks about growth, I think this is why. Because if you either have a discontent in your life, or you seek something that you haven't had yet, in your life, manifested in your life, you need to grow. And, you know, honestly, this is one of the best investments that you could do. You are the only appreciating asset in your life. Like, if you have a phone, this phone is depreciating. The moment you bought it, you put it out of the package, it decreases its value, right? The computer, the camera that I'm using right now, they decrease their value the moment you start using them. You know, the house you're living in, you know, this decreases value, right? And you pay for it, you know, to maintain it, the car. Again, the only appreciating asset that you have is you. If you invest yourself, you increase your value. And the more experience you are, the better you are, the more valuable you are in the marketplace. So that's why, that's another reason why you should grow. And if you want to grow... We have some programs to help you. So check the link above and see if that fits you. And if it does, I will look forward to see you there. So thank you for tuning in and uh, see you next time.